Yeah, I think uh, you could see our intentions very early on in the game, uh, playing against a really good informed team. Um, and I think you could see a really good dominant display from our boys. Uh, we go 2-0 up and uh, unfortunately Sam, you know, gets his second yellow card and, and that kind of derails us, uh, you know, from our concept a little bit. Um, but yeah, credit to the boys, we keep fighting. Um, and uh, yeah, we were challenged a lot today. Uh, you know, we were going to be challenged anyways, regardless, uh, in a normal regulation game. But now with a man down for a little more over 30 minutes, plus the nine minutes of stoppage time, uh, we were challenged in big ways. So proud of the boys for that. Um, but a little bit disappointed here that we leave only with one point. I thought, uh, you know, we could have seen out that game and, and found a way to, to get it over the line. So if I have to speak about disappointment, you know, small details make big differences. And, and, and that's what I'll leave here with. But, you know, at least we take a point. Hey, Coach. And I wanted to ask about you know, Sam and Dendran's day, just because it goes from, you know, so good to so bad in such a short period of time. I mean, what, are you, what are you telling him in that moment of, because he had that moment of brilliance earlier and had to make that mistake later in the game. I don't think a handball is a mistake. I mean, uh, I'm, yeah, I've been around in the game a long time and, and the more I'm in the game, I'm not sure what a handball is and isn't anymore. So, and that's not, you know, we're trying to put, we're trying to put pressure on the ball. We're trying to get our bodies in the way. And a handball is like, you know, these things happen in soccer, right? So um, I, don't, I don't blame anybody for those, you know, we just have to get other details right that, that lead to that moment. And that's, that's what bothers me more. Yeah, Brad, just going back to, to Sam's offensive play, there's the goal run that he's on right now. And he said two goals wiped out by fraction of an inch offsides calls, uh, it seems. Just what he's bringing offensively and what you're going to miss when he's not can't play next week. Yeah, it's just a, you know, a different dynamic when, you know, he's 6'5 and got tons of speed. It can run down the channels. You know, he runs in behind. But again, you know, we've seen it in, in this system, plug and play. We've, we've had multiple guys step up to the plate and, and we feel confident that we can just pick up like like Sam was never there. You know, I think that's just what it is. We're going to, yeah, for sure. He's a weapon starting and he's a weapon off the bench. But now we just have to, you know, give the other guys the, the responsibility and the accountability. Um, and we move on from there. Houston's a, you know, a tough game and they're in good form too. So every road game we have. Uh, these are coming up against teams that are all running in the in the playoffs at the moment. So, yeah, points are tight on the road. You could see the results yesterday. Um, you know, so very fortunate, very happy to get to get a point here. But I don't think this was a lucky point. Um, I think there was more in in the bag tonight.